and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk to you about how I train for mountain sports in the Midwest. It's uh, my second week of uh, schemo preseason training right now. Fun stuff, a lot of a lot of laps early in the morning here at this hill. And a lot of roller skiing lately. It's a bit of a change of pace since my summer trail running. I did have a pretty good season though of trail running. Had a uh, trail marathon up at Devil's Lake in Wisconsin that I thought went really well. And I also uh, had some other stuff that went not so great, but I had a good time. Had my uh, Prezi Traverse in New Hampshire back in August. This is full on adventuring and I am loving it. This is what life is all about. My mom is not gonna like this. I'm on the summit of Mount Washington, lives up to its reputation. Uh, worst weather in North America. And a couple of weeks ago, I finished off the season with uh, Iron Bowl Ultra Trail 50K in Wausau, Wisconsin. This is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. That was one of the toughest things I've ever done. Tons and tons of vertical and uh, yeah, can't wait for the next one. Which is more like 56K. According to my watch at least. <sighs> Woo. So, some of you might be wondering, how'd you get into schemo and mountain running, living in such a flat place like the Midwest? It's a good question. So, I've always loved mountains. Probably going back to a uh, family vacation to Colorado when I was 10. But, fell in love so much that I started my career at Colorado State in Fort Collins, where I had my first exposure to mountaineering and a backcountry skiing where we would skin around on these, uh, on these Black Diamond Tele skis around Cameron Pass. Even spring break of freshman year, way back in early 2014, went on this hut to hut trip staying at these yurts north of Cameron Pass. That was a lot of fun. But after a couple of years at Colorado State, had the classic millennial quarter life crisis, moved back home to Chicago, was at community college for a while. So. Right after I was living back with my parents here in the Chicago suburbs and starting at community college, I remember I was uh, somehow shut up on my Facebook feed. Early 2016, a uh, Schemo World Cup race. And I just see that and I think, what the heck is that? And I look it up on Wikipedia and I think, oh, I gotta try that. So, Fast forward a couple of years, it's uh, about time to graduate. So it's early 2020, think, okay, I'll be in a, either a grad program or a job somewhere out west by the end of this year. And then it's early 2020, you know what happened, right? But I already put money on a new pair of Schemo skis. So I think, oh great. But when it came to my goals in the mountains, life might have given me lemons, but 
I had no taste for lemonade, so I uh, I realized, hey, wait, there's these uh, schemo races in the northeast. I can make a quick trip there, not have to worry about altitude. So I put together a, a training plan. I was found out right here at Four Lakes, just minutes from home. They allow uphill. Who knew that? So, you know, I finish my gear set up. I get my bindings, my boots, and my skins. Come December, I just ski laps up and down this hill again and again and again. infinitum a couple of nights a week so I did that for uh, a couple of months then last March I uh, went with my family out to Western Massachusetts had to get COVID tested because it was before the vaccine and uh, I do this race at Mount Greylock but Conditions could have been a lot better and I was just not ready for that. Had my uh, first and so far only DNF in my uh, couple of years of any sort of racing. But really uh, started something inside me, so damn geese. Um, yeah, it made me realize, hey, like, Tons of room for improvement, so it's been last summer trail running. And uh, now I'm in schemo preseason, so I'm changing things up a little this time. I'm, like I said, lots of laps here, trying to do intensity training once a week, doing some strides, adding muscular endurance. I have to confess, I've been really bad about any sort of like strength, muscular endurance. One thing I'm realizing though, is that I'm probably the only person in the entire Chicago area, maybe even the entire Midwest, who is actively training for schemo racing. There's no races in the Midwest, though if I'm being honest, a few of the bigger resorts could host them, definitely Mount Bohemia, probably Lutzen too, maybe even Granite Peak in Wisconsin. So at times I feel like a one-man Jamaican bobsled team, which is interesting, but you know, it's kind of like being the uh, protagonist of some underdog 80s sports movie. Gotta have like pump up theme music playing in the back instead of this lo-fi hip-hop I'm piping in right now. 